Did you know you can effortlessly connect multiple displays or sensors to just one microcontroller? Welcome back to MaisonUp. Today, we introduce you to our hero product, the I2C Multiplexer. When working with microcontrollers, efficient wiring is crucial, especially for complex projects. That's where I2C, Inter-Integrated Circuit, comes in. Unlike SPI, which needs multiple wires per device, I2C simplifies everything to just two SDA, data, and SCL, clock. For example, take these two OLED displays. The one on the left uses SPI with six connections, while the one on the right uses I2C, requiring only four. With I2C, you can connect multiple devices using the same two lines, making it perfect for compact and scalable projects. I2C works great when devices have unique addresses. But what happens if two devices share the same address? This creates a conflict. Since I2C requires unique addresses, the microcontroller can't differentiate between them, making them unusable on the same bus. And that's exactly where the I2C multiplexer comes in. A multiplexer lets you connect up to eight I2C devices, even if they share the same address. How? It works like a switch. Your microcontroller communicates with one device at a time by selecting different channels in software. Now that we understand the basics, it's time to bring it to life. In this demo, we'll use an ESP32, a PCA9548AI2C multiplexer, and four 1.23-inch OLED displays. To connect everything, we'll also need a breadboard and some jumper wires. Let's start with the hardware assembly. Follow the wiring diagram on the screen to make all the necessary connections. On the ESP32, we'll define pin 21 as SCL and pin 22 as SDA. These will connect directly to the SCL and SDA of the multiplexer. Similarly, the 3.3 volts and ground from the ESP32 will be shared with the multiplexer and all four OLED displays. Finally, connect the SCL and SDA lines from the multiplexer to any four available channels. In our case, we're using channels 2, 3, 4 and 5. One for each OLED. And that's it. The hardware setup is complete. Now, it's time to work on the software. If you're new to ESP32, don't worry. I'll guide you through setting it up in the Arduino IDE. First, let's install the ESP32 board. Make sure your IDE is up to date. In the left panel, click on Boards Manager, then search for ESP32. Install ESP32 by Espressif. This may take a while. Once completed, you'll see a confirmation message at the bottom of the screen. Next, we need to install the required libraries. Go to Library Manager and search for Adafruit SH110X. This is required for 1.3-inch OLED displays. Keep in mind, this is different from the Adafruit SSD1306 library, which is used for smaller 0.96-inch OLED displays. Also, ensure the wire library is installed. Now, download the code from the link in the description and open it in the Arduino IDE. Before uploading, let's update the correct settings. Go to Tools, click on Board, and select the ESP32 board matching your version. In our case, it's WROOM. Next, select the correct COM port. Finally, make sure the I2C address for your OLED display is correct. Most commonly, it's 0x3C. And that's it. Click Upload and watch the magic happen. If you run into any issues while uploading the code, make sure you have the CP210X driver by Silicon Labs installed. You can find the download link in the description. Also, double check that you've selected the correct board and COM port in the Arduino IDE. And that's it. That's how easy it is to expand your microcontroller's capabilities using an I2C multiplexer. You can always modify the code to fit your project's needs. If you need any help, feel free to leave a comment. And if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more exciting tech content. See you in the next one.